Mexico City's Institute of Neurology and Neurosurgery. Dr. Carlos Marquez watches a moment in medical history, the first ever successful cultivation in a laboratory of the Tinea solum, one of the world's most deadly parasites. The experiment probably saved the life of this woman, Alejandra Cabreras. Eggs from the parasite had lodged in her brain, resulting in a condition known as sister psychosis. First, I found I kept dropping things from my right hand. I didn't feel it, but when I looked, things weren't there anymore. Then there was my leg. I'd be sitting down. I'd want to get up, and I just couldn't. I couldn't use my leg. It might once have been a death sentence, but having isolated the parasite from its human host, scientists could find a way to kill it. A couple of days later, they fed it the drug albendazole. The larvae began to lose mobility, they began to lose vitality, and in a few days they wrinkled and dried up and stopped moving completely. Doctors now combine albendazole with anti-inflammatory drugs in a course of treatment which has recently been perfected. The result is a major breakthrough against a disease which afflicts as many as 50 million people worldwide. If you have an illness as serious and as common as cystic psychosis that leads to so much surgery, to so many hours in hospital, so many days and weeks, so many complications, to have now an option for medical treatment which is cheap, safe and fast, well, I think the medical and neurological world ought to know about it. Cerebral cysticercosis is the most common parasitical disease of the nervous system in the whole world. It causes inflammation of the brain and leads to a host of other brain disorders. In Alejandra's case, a stroke. The parasite grows to more than a meter in the human intestine. But how it infects the brain is part of a complex cycle. Key to that cycle is the pig. The tinea solum lays microscopic eggs in the human intestine. These eggs are excreted into the environment. Feeding from human rubbish and waste, the pigs eat the eggs. The eggs then gestate into the flesh of the pig, which is eaten by humans, completing the cycle. Sister psychosis occurs when humans eat the eggs direct through contaminated vegetables or water. Not having gestated, the eggs are unable to grow into parasites in the intestine. Instead, they lodge in the brain and become cysts, like these. This one has grown behind a human eye. When Alejandra first contracted the disease, she feared the worst. A thousand ideas came into my head, that I wouldn't be able to do anything, that I would be useless. I was desperate. She couldn't walk anymore. To take her to the hospital, I had to carry her. How else was I to get her there? I carried her to the metro. We'd get out of the station, and then I'd carry her to the hospital. Eventually, she was referred to Dr. Marquez at the Institute for Neurology. In years gone by, she might have faced a dangerous operation. More than half of the patients died because of different complications for different things which happened months or even years after the operation. But now Dr. Marquez could offer her albendazole. When the drug was first developed, it proved problematic. What we found was that, although the antiparasite drug was effective, at first it provoked major inflammation because in killing the parasite, it released substances from the parasite. Alejandra was given abendazole and anti-inflammatory drugs. Brain scans taken of her before and after the treatment are startling. You can see very clearly the presence of the cyst, the parasite. 
By contrast, it already shows, if you look, a notable reduction of the size of the vesicular swelling. This shows the parasite is already degenerating as a result of the treatment we gave you to destroy it. Alejandra is now back on her stool with her husband. She's avoided dangerous surgery and will soon be able to stop taking the tablets. Good news not just for her, but for up to 50 million other victims of this disease worldwide. The drug albendazole, marketed under the name Escazole, is now being mass-produced in Mexico and exported around the world. And with more and more tourists from Europe and the US visiting developing countries, its significance could be more widespread.